a beautiful story is coming to an end. A fairy tale journey comes to a full stop as one of the giants of sport, a legend of the game of tennis, the one and only, Rafael Nadal bids adieu to the game that made him one of the greatest athletes of all time. Words cannot explain how special Rafa is, not just to tennis, but to the sporting world in general. And we don't think it would be false to say that an international treasure of sport has decided to call it a day in his magnificent and glorious career. As Rafael Nadal's decision to retire from tennis hits the sporting world and makes us emotional, here's a tribute to the legend of the game from us in the form of the top 10 greatest moments of Rafael Nadal's career. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Number 10. Nadal beats Roger Federer in first ever meeting. The first meeting between rivals and friends off court, Nadal and Federer, came at the Miami Masters in 2004 when the Spaniard was just 17 years old. And that was one exhilarating meeting between the two players. By that time, Federer had already won two major championships and everyone expected him to get the best of Nadal easily. But that is not what happened. Nadal stunned Federer and the entire tennis world by winning in straight sets which possibly set the stage for one of tennis's greatest rivalries. Nadal dominated the match with his aggressive baseline play, hitting heavy topspin forehands that troubled Federer. Federer struggled with unforced errors and never really found his rhythm against Nadal's powerful game. What was special about the game was that Nadal, just a teenager, was able to defeat the top-ranked player in the world in a commanding fashion. And the rest is history. Number 9. First Grand Slam Win And at the ninth of this list is when Rafael Nadal clinched his first-ever Grand Slam win at the French Open in 2005. The win came upon Nadal defeating Roger Federer in the semifinals and beating Argentina's Mariano Puerta in the final with a score of 6, 7, 6, 3, 6, 1, 7, 5. At just 19 years old, he became the first teenager to win a Grand Slam since Pete Sampras. And what was special about this victory? Well, Nadal became the first player since Mats Wylander in 1982 to win the French Open on his first attempt and also became the youngest male French Open champion since Michael Chang in 1989. It was the first of Nadal's record-breaking 14 French Open titles. Number 8. Career Golden Slam at 24 Years In 2010, Nadal had a poor start to his season, losing the Australian Open quarterfinal. But the Spaniard did not let his poor start to the season drive him down as things started looking up when he lifted the French Open and Wimbledon titles and beat Djokovic to win his first U.S. Open crown in the same year. He had already won three Grand Slams and an Olympic gold at the 2008 Summer Olympics. But after the 2010 U.S. Open title, he secured a career Golden Slam and became the second after Andre Agassi to do it in men's singles. Nadal made history at the 2010 U.S. Open by becoming the youngest tennis player to complete a career Golden Slam at just 24 years of age. And that is when the world realized that he had already become a superstar of the sport. Number 7. Nadal breaks Bjorn Borg's record for four consecutive French Open titles. Nadal became the second player, after Bjorn Borg, to win four consecutive French Open titles. In 2005, he defeated Puerta in the final and became the first man to win the Roland Garros title on debut. He faced Federer in three straight finals from 2006 to 2008 and didn't need more than four sets to establish himself as the king of clay. There was something uniquely special about the way Nadal won the French Open against Federer in 2008 as he did so with remarkable dominance when he dismantled Federer in what was one of the most one-sided Grand Slam finals ever. Number 6. Olympic Gold in 2008, Summer Olympics, Beijing We just cannot leave out the time when Nadal went on to bag an Olympic gold medal for Spain at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, can we? Ranked world number one at the time, he defeated Djokovic in the semifinals. Nadal entered the tournament as the second seed, and he played some exceptional tennis throughout the event. He paved the way for a final against Chile's Fernando Gonzalez and clinched the top prize by defeating him 6-3-7-6-6-3, a victory that contributed to his achievement of the career Golden Slam in 2010. Why was winning the Olympic gold medal even more special for Nadal? Well, simply because the win also came during a peak moment in Nadal's career, as he had just won his first Wimbledon title earlier that year and was about to take over the number one ranking for the first time in his career. Number 5. 
youngest Davis Cup champion. At just 18 years of age, Rafael Nadal became the youngest Davis Cup champion in 2004 when he helped Spain secure victory in the Davis Cup final against the United States. At such a young age, the Spaniard played a very important role in securing the victory for his country, marking a major milestone early in his career. And how did the match pan out between Nadal and US's Andy Roddick, who was world number two at the time? In his match against Roddick, Nadal secured a stunning 6-7, 6-2-7-6-6-2 victory, a win that gave Spain a crucial 2-0 lead in the tie and helped pave the way for their eventual 3-2 overall victory. And of course, much of the credit for their win went to Nadal, who with his incredible performance clinched the country's second ever Davis Cup title since 2000. Number four, Nadal's win in the race to break the record for most Grand Slams. You know what makes the Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic's rivalry even more special and historic? It's the fact that the three legends of the game have traded the record for most career Grand Slam titles, which makes their rivalry even more legendary. But did you know that it was Nadal who had initially taken over the two in the race and rivalry? He did so right after winning the 2022 Australian Open, his second title after a 13-year gap. He equaled Federer's record of 20 titles at the 2020 Roland Garros and then claimed the record for himself with the win down under. Federer was the first of the big three to reach dominance, holding the all-time record for Grand Slam titles for several years. He won his 20th major at the 2018 Australian Open. Nadal, however, dominated on clay, winning the French Open year after year. But it took longer for him to catch Federer in the Grand Slam tally because Federer had won titles earlier in his career. As for Djokovic, well, he joined the race later on in his career. But it did not take him long to become a serious contender with multiple hardcourt and Wimbledon victories. But what was significant about Nadal surpassing Federer and Djokovic in the Grand Slam's record early on was because of the physical toll tennis had taken on his body especially with recurring injuries. Even though Djokovic currently holds the record, Nadal's extraordinary achievement of leading the race and clinching 22 Grand Slam titles with his 14 French Open victories remains unparalleled. Number 3. Nadal vs. Federer, Wimbledon, 2008 This game will undoubtedly go down as one of the greatest Grand Slam finals in the history of the sport. And what makes it so special and significant for Nadal? Well, right after losing consecutive Wimbledon finals in 2006 and 2007 to rival Federer, he finally claimed his first title when they faced each other in what is known as one of the greatest Grand Slam finals ever played in 2008. The battle lasted for nearly five hours, and it was the Spaniard who came out on top in a five-set thriller. The type of rivalry and competition that we witnessed in that game remains to this day a testament to the history of the sport, and Nadal was just magical to watch in that game. Two, first Grand Slam title on hard court, 2009. Let's hit the rewind button and go back to 2009. Till this time, Nadal had established himself as one of the greatest, or actually the greatest to ever play on clay. And it was time for him to prove his dominance and expertise when it came to winning on hard courts as well. And it was in 2009 that he demonstrated his ability to succeed on any surface, including hard courts in Australia. In the semifinals, Nadal played an epic five-set match against fellow Spaniard Fernando Verdasco, which lasted five hours and 14 minutes. Nadal won 6-7-6-4-7-6-6-7-6-4 in what was one of the longest and most thrilling matches in Australian Open history. His win against Fernando in the semifinals paved the way for an Australian Open final against Roger Federer, who he defeated in a thrilling five-set final securing a Grand Slam title on every surface, including clay and grass. What added to the significance of this win was the fact that Nadal became the first Spanish player to win the Australian Open. It was also his sixth Grand Slam title, and more importantly, his first on a hard court. This win was enough to prove Nadal's versatility across different surfaces. Number 1. Most French Open Titles Nadal holds the record for winning the most number of French titles, and this is one milestone that nobody can ever match, even if they wanted to. He has won a total of 14 French Open titles in his career, claiming his first victory on debut at the 2005 Roland Garros, after which he went on to win the next three consecutively. From 2010 to 2014, Nadal won five successive titles and for four seasons in a row, again from 2017 to 2020. His last win came in the 2022 season, 
with Nadal becoming the second oldest to do so at 37 years and two days. His dominance at Roland Garros is widely regarded as one of the greatest achievements in sports history. Now, if we have to discuss some of the key points of his dominance when it comes to the French Open, we have to acknowledge Nadal's most insane record at the competition, which is, and shall remain unmatched, and it is that he has a staggering 112, four win-loss record at the tournament as of 2024. His combination of speed, power, and tenacity on the clay courts makes him incredibly difficult to beat at Roland Garros, and his 14 titles have come over a span of 17 years, further showcasing his longevity and consistent brilliance on clay. So when it comes to clay and French Open titles, nobody comes close to Nadal. So here were the top 10 greatest moments of Rafael Nadal's glorious and incredible career. As he calls it a day, we could not help but pay tribute to him and throw light on the legacy he is leaving today which will continue to inspire generations across all sports in the times to come. Muchas gracias for the memories, and adios, legend.